Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funtech Guys. So in this tutorial, uh, we're just going to quickly recap over what we've done in the previous one, and then we're going to start working with our PHP. Um, so yeah, as I say, the last tutorial we created a HTML page. It had some input fields, a text area, um, a submit button, which said it was which has the value of send email, and then we also left the action field blank, so it's basically ready to submit to itself and yeah ready for us to start working so I'm gonna try and keep this as, as short as possible um, but it may have to go over in an additional video so we see how we get on okay so I'm gonna fl start flying through it so what we need to do is we, first of all we just need to declare our PHP obviously so I'm gonna declare that and then I'm gonna say right if submit um, so dollar underscore post email so what I'm saying is has the form been submitted? So if there's something in the in the email variable, then we'll process this form because something is in the field. Now there's better ways to do this, but as I say, I'm just trying to fly through this video so we can cover as much ground as possible. So um, what what do we need to do here? Well, it's always best case to wireframe. So we need to declare some vars, so we can declare some variables like errors and things like that that we can use later on. Um, check. Oh, that's not right check and validate fields um, handle errors um, process form based on errors providing the zero okay so let's go ahead and declare some files so let's do um, let's do errors equals an array and success equals false. So what we're doing is we're just saying right the the, the success is always going to equal to false unless we um, we specify otherwise. So we won't handle you know we won't process the page unless um, success is equal to true. Um, or we'll you know once once the page is fin finished then we'll say it's it's true and it's it's been successful. So um, and then obviously errors which is spelt wrong. Errors um, is just an array, so we can keep on adding items into it. So um, at further down here, you know, handle errors, we will say, right, okay, let's loop through the errors array. If there's any uh, items in it, we're not going to process the page because we need to handle these errors first. So that can be anything from, um, I don't know, the the, the length of um, the message field is too short, or you know, email isn't a valid email, or you know. Um, it can be a, ran a range of things and we'll check some of those now so let's go ahead and just check and validate some emails uh, some, some fields sorry so if and we're going to put an else in here and um, so what we're doing is we're going to say if something has been submit, um, so something has been uh, something has happened then we're going to do something else we're going to do something else and in this instance we're going to say if um, is set so we're going to use the is set function and um, you know what and I'm just going to add that up here as well is set and um, I'm going to wrap this in brackets so we're saying if is set so we're going to go on to post um, email and not empty So what we're saying is we're saying right has the has the has the form has the post um, super global has it does it contain an email so it has it been set and if it has been set let's make sure it's not empty as well so um, the form has received something so in the, this instance um, email is there the form checks else email has not been submitted. So then this is where we can go, um, oh, not no, email equals no, because obviously it's 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 blank and we'll, we'll do this, we'll use this variable later on. But we can say email is no, and we can say errors, oh, square brackets, um, uh, email is a required field. So what, what we're doing is we're saying, right, um, you need to submit something into email. So put something in in email, um, 
So then let's say, uh, you know what, I'm going to take email off because let's just do it, it's set on the post. Okay, um, right, we need to perform checks. So we need to say, right, if, and let's do it again, do it if else. So if else, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say, right, has, um, it is the so the the email has been set because we're running this block of code. Okay, if it has been set, is it a valid email? If it isn't, if it is a valid email, do something else. We're gonna do something else, um, and we can say um, so if filter underscore bar, and we're gonna do dollar underscore post, and then here we're just gonna do filter underscore validate underscore email so what we're saying here is if the email is a valid email do something so email is a valid email email is valid is a valid email right, let's just do email is valid email is valid then let's set a variable so we're going to say right okay email is valid let's clean up um, uh, the post and then so, yeah, declare the variable. So, HTML entities, and we're going to say dollar underscore post. That's not dollar underscore post. That's dollar underscore post. So here we are saying, um, yeah, as I say, we've checked if it's a valid email because it has it, because it is a valid email because it's gone through this function. And if you check um, the filter underscore file on the PHP manual, then it will give you different flags that you can use. So you can change this to say something like um, string. You know, you validate that this is a is a, is a string of text. However, in this instance, we want to validate that it's an email. So um, because it's run this block because it is a valid email, then let's clean up the data and set the array so we can use our email later on. So we're saying, right, it has met, so we're going to clean everything up. We're going to say, right, if you submit HTML elements or, or whatever, um, so let's just say you submitted an angle bracket, rather than you, uh, it, rather than it passing an angle bracket into the array, into into the variable, sorry, we would use the HTML entities. So an angle bracket would be like um, an ampersand, LT, and then a semicolon. That's just basically, that's the HTML entity for the angle bracket. So if you wrote ampersand, LT, or GT, you know, for less than and greater than, and a semicolon, that's basically just passing in. Um, you know, it's, it's just it's a way of validating, uh, you know, inputted text, basically. Um, and then what we're going to do down here is we're saying, right, okay, in this instance then, it hasn't validated. So we can do, um, right, errors, square brackets, equals, um, please enter a valid email. So we can save that. So we've performed all the checks that we need to. We've checked if it's been submitted, if it has, if it hasn't. And um, we've also checked if it's valid. And if it isn't valid, and then we've also cleaned up the data. So we've done a fair few checks on this. Um, now it's worth mentioning that some of the things that I'm doing in this aren't going to be best practice. Things like you know checking um, if there's you know like, for instance I'm going to be repeating quite a lot of the code. And in one of my previous tutorials, I said look if you can re if you're going to repeat code, then there's a function to do it. You know pass the information into a function. Now there is a function, but I want to get this uh, you know kind of drilled into you a little bit that um, th some of the stuff there. PHP can handle, and that that we can do with PHP. So we'll we'll do it the dirty way first, and then we'll start refactoring the code, and we'll 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 find nicer and cleaner ways of doing it. Anyway, so moving on, we're literally just going to repeat this process, but for for a message. So we're going to say if if um, is set dollar underscore post. So I'm not really saying anything right now because I've literally just repeating what I've done up up top. So I'm just going to say message equals null because obviously the um, because it's not it's not been submitted. So we're so, okay. Then we need to uh, we need to pass back an error. So error. Um, 
message is a required field. Um, and then here we can say, right, okay, let's check um, string length. So let's say if here we're going to say uh, str then, then, so um, dollar underscore post um, message is less than 10. Okay, so what we're doing here, so in this instance, message has been set, but the string length is less than 10 characters. Um, so we're going to pass in a, a message. So we can say, um, let's say, errors equals, oh, square brackets, equals um, message needs to be more than 10 characters. Let's leave it at that. Oh. Okay, and then if it has been if it has passed, so we'll, oh, so what we can do is we can say message equals um, HTML entities HTML entities dollar underscore post message. So what we're doing again, I'm just going to repeat over what I've just, what I was just saying is this block of code here is just checking if the message has been set, well, no, sorry, this block of code is checking if the message has been set. If it has been set and it's not empty, then we're going to run this block of code. Otherwise, we're going to run this block. So let's just say hypothetically it hasn't been set. Okay, it's not been set. We need to pass a message, uh, an error back and say, look, message needs to be a required field. And then we'll just pass a null value back. Um, then we come back up here. Okay, let's just say hypothetically it has been set. Okay, let's check the string length. The string length is less than 10 characters. So... Um, we need a, a message which is a little bit longer than that, so let's pass an error, uh, an error back to the user. Okay, let's just say again hypothetically, it has been set. It's greater than ten characters. Okay, let's clean up the data and set the variable. Okay, um, and I'm going to leave this part of the video there. We I should be able to try and get as much done as possible in the next video where we can. Um, just do a final check on the name. We can handle the errors, and then we can process the form. So I'm going to um, I'm going to leave the video there. And thanks very much for, for thanks very much for watching. Sorry, should I say? Um, and join me again in the next video where we'll be finishing this off.